My name is Elisabetta Harakolka. I'm from Boston, Massachusetts, and I'm a student at the Harvard Extension School. Why did you choose Belize to volunteer? Um, I chose Belize because it was the closest to me, but also this was the easiest of broader view program to start with since this was my first time volunteering. How was the U.S. communication prior to traveling? It was good. Everything was very thorough. There were almost no glitches. Yeah, it was good. How was the service the local staff and coordinator provided to you while in Belize? They were very helpful. They always had an open door and I was able to come in if I had any questions. They were very helpful. What was a typical work day like? So you would get up early in the morning and help out at breakfast, and then the caregivers would ask you to occupy the kids sometimes, play with them, and then sometimes you would have a few hours to yourself to relax and to get used to your new accommodations. And then um, you would help the t you would help at lunchtime serving the food, and then again occupy the kids, keeping them busy, helping them out with anything if they need it, and then of course maybe an hour or two to yourself again. Again, it's very flexible. What? And, and then um, you help out with dinner, and then yeah. What was the most surprising thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? Um, I think it was how welcoming the children were. They were very open and they were very, very kind. And I, well, they started to like me very quickly and I adore them as well. Tell us a bit about your accommodation and meals. So, the space we're staying in was very spacious, it was very nice, um, it was very cool in there. You could see the view from the children's home, and the meals were very good. They were all traditional Asian foods, which was very, very nice. I got to experience some new foods. What was the most challenging thing you experienced while volunteering in Belize? I think it was keeping the kids occupied because there was a lot of them and a lot of them have different interests and it's difficult to adjust to their interests if it's just you, but when there are other volunteers around it makes it much easier. What type of donation can other volunteers bring for the program? Um, they can bring all sorts of children's toys, essentials, things that children need. Are you willing to speak to other potential ABV volunteers? Yes, absolutely. Any tips for future volunteers coming to Belize? I would suggest bringing lots of bug spray and lots of happy thoughts and a good attitude because the more, the more of a good attitude you have, the more the kids will adjust to you more and the more you will have fun. Thank you for volunteering in Belize and we hope to have you back with us. Thank you so much for having me.